Hey everybody. I know it's dangerous to be driving and recording, but you know what? I'm going to invest in a GoPro and a little mount. But I'm on my little lunch excursion here from work and I'm headed to the little thrift store that we have here on post on Fort Carson. You know, I haven't posted in a few days and the um, video that I just posted earlier is from this weekend. So that's a couple of things that I found this weekend, but uh, I'm gonna add the things that I found my first trip at the bins um, on this video, but uh, heading to the little thrift store right now. So uh, I'm gonna do a quick little overview. If I can videotape in there, I will, just to show you guys what it looks like. But if not, I'll let you see if I do or don't buy anything, but um, I hope you guys are having a really good day. Um, I woke up this morning and I was so tired. Um, I had to have an echocardiogram today because remember that little anxiety attack that I had uh, about a month ago and I ended up having to be taken from work in an ambulance with chest pain, which you know I think is just anxiety because I'm unhappy at work, but I am resolving to be happy at work every day and trying to make the conscious decision to make every day a good day and it is not easy because I am I believe I'm pessimistic by nature um, I always look at the bad things that can happen and expect the bad things to happen that way if the bad things do happen you're not disappointed that was the sad outlook that I used to have but you know I know things are gonna get better. I just, uh, I'm just tired. <laughs> but on my way to the thrift store and I'll show you guys what we can, okay? Hi everybody. All right, so I did finish in that thrift store. I tried to record a little bit, but there was a lot of people around and yeah. I was having enough trouble like just looking at the stuff like for eBay, but these are the little things that I found. Maybe I'll, show them a little bit clearer later but um found a little simba it's pretty big he's a big simba look at him then you know i watch rally roots and stuff like that and a lot of other resellers and say you know it doesn't always have to be brand but if they're bright and loud like shirts especially for men's i'm going to take a chance on them these were only three bucks a piece they're a junction west brand I mean, they're made in Bangladesh. I mean, maybe they're a good brand. I haven't really checked, but I just like them. They were loud. They're summer shirts. You know, people are planning trips to Hawaii and stuff. So, um, yeah. So here's this one. It's a red one. It's really bright. These are all like larges too. So the bigger sizes usually go really well. Here's another one right here. It's the, these are like parrots that they have on macaws actually all over. There we go. And then here's another one. So you can see how bright they are. Super bright. All right, so those three. But then, <clears throat> so I was looking at it. Now I've gone to this little thrift store. It's a little, little thrift store. And it's on post. Um, I guess it was two more rooms in the back. I've gone there at least 10 times. And I never knew that you could go to these two rooms <laughs> in the back. They had all the sports uh wear stuff down there the the sports stuff back there but they also had men's shoes now here's the good thing about this place and i didn't know all the shoes are two bucks a piece two dollars for the shoes oh my god i might be getting excited because the brands that i see i like and then the ones that i saw they looked pretty cool like i wouldn't wear them and i wouldn't want my husband to wear them but there are people out there that's their style and they're pretty flashy so I just got to clean some of these up but remember like two two bucks a piece so I found some Timberlands and they're a big size too these are a size 13 so yeah the soles like perfect so hopefully those will go pretty good two bucks saw so these these are pro pro kids for men's also and yep they're also a bigger size size 11 for those 
two bucks. Now these, like I said, I wouldn't wear them. I wouldn't have my husband wear them. And plus these are all too big for him. But these are really cool. I don't know if they'll go for anything, but hey, you list what you list. And if the right person sees your item, then they're going to buy it. Yeah. So these are Ed Hardy's. The bottom sole. Look at that. Look at the bottom of the sole. That's just so cool. But these are also, those are a size 10. So I'm going to polish these up and photograph them and stuff. So, yeah. And last but not least, these, I mean, they are a majestic collection. I mean, no real good brand, but I mean, simple, just brown boots. They have leather lining on the inside. The soles on the bottom are really cool. Also, barely worn. So yeah, two bucks a piece. So I mean, if I can get a little bit out of those, that would be great. Um, but yeah, I'm doing a little bit of sourcing and everything and still trying to, you know, stay positive and be patient and know that as long as I keep listing, I will see results. So I am listing on eBay. I have been slacking on listing on Mercari. I just watched Lindy Glenn's video the other day on the basic tips of Mercari and she came up some, with some good tips. So I'm gonna look at um, the shipping prices and stuff. I did post a little bit of them um, using Pirate Ship like I would send them myself. And then I'm also using the uh, Mercari um, shipping for them to send me the shipping label as well so we'll see how that goes but i i think i'm gonna start doing more videos but i don't know i mean you guys know i do this very part-time i got my husband to take care of i've got my girls who all have medical issues but you know we're getting by um i'm taking care of my heart and stuff too so they want to go and do a ct scan of my heart to make sure that there's no structural issues or anything that I need to worry about so you know hey I'm not no spring chicken anymore I'm 42 years old so uh, yeah things come up mm -hmm. but oh so hey I just wanted to mention <clears throat> speaking of, my, of, of of eBay here and listening and stuff this sweater right here that I'm wearing is a Nebraska Columbia sweater now um, Maybe I'll make another video of it, but I did buy it off of another eBayer, but I do have a little bit of comments about it, just about listing, so, yeah. Um, I don't know, I happened to find this one, not because I was looking for Nebraska, not because I was looking for Huskers, but a totally different keyword, and yeah. So, but um, I really hope you guys are having a great day. Um, this is, what, March 8th? So I am keeping up with my five a day for May. I have been adding listings to my eBay store five a day since May 1st. So I'm up actually to 88 items right now. I have had two items sell in the last two weeks. So, you know, but hey, um, be patient. Just keep listing and I'm going to do promotions and sales. So we'll see what happens so if you guys like my channel if you guys want to see a little bit more if there's a topic that you guys want to ask me about ask it below or subscribe um i do talk about things in life i am going to start putting up some cooking videos because you know i get a lot of people that say that i'm a really good cook also um so maybe i'll start doing those as well but who knows this is my channel and if you guys want to see more like i said subscribe if you want me to do something else or have any questions on something just ask below i'm also on instagram as the cherry picker so you can check me out on instagram i have a couple more little tidbits of my day or inspirational stuff in there or just rants and raves so yeah all right so i hope you i'm, I'm, I'm done ranting i'm done ranting i gotta get back to my full time i'm actually at lunch right now so yeah, I, I got to close this out and I will see you guys later. So be looking for more, more videos. Have a sweet day, guys. Bye.